Hello guys, it's Unders here for warriorsound.co.uk and we are looking at Nectar 3 and all the different parts within it because it has multiple plugins basically hidden with inside it much like Neutron and Ozone do now as well and we're up to the EQ and if you think that this EQ doesn't deserve a whole video you are wrong and misled because this EQ has actually got a whole bunch of things nestled away inside it that you probably don't know about so when we load up the EQ, by default, we've got a roll off set up on here and we've got these three other points, two of them bells, one of them as a high shelf. All very useful and very common EQ traits and parameters, right? However, we can add new parts of the EQ in. We're not just restricted to these four points. We can click just about anywhere and add a new point in and we can have lots and lots and lots of those can be pretty damn excessive with it and just absolutely literate with points I mean there I went up to 21 there if you're if you're at a point where you're using 21 different points in your EQ and it's not for some creative sound design you've done something wrong there's just no need for it so we can go way above and beyond there now, the other thing to note are some of the features in it. If you actually click on the band, like with Neutron and Ozone, we've got the little drag handles here for your Q value, which means if we do this, we can narrow it or widen it right up. Just a super useful little workflow thing there. And we've also got a nice readout of what's going on, the exact frequency we are, we're on, the amount of gain, um, the type of curve. So we've got like our bell, low shelf, high shelf, high pass, and then each one of those has got its own subset of menus as well. So obviously in Bell, we've got these four different types. We can do like a band shelf EQ, which is uh, pretty useful at times as well. And it's got some vintage curves in there. Also, different types of low shelf. If you use Neutron, you've seen those. So like, um, like the back sandal curves, for example, are what you'd expect to find in like a pull tech. Super useful to have those in there. And we've got resonant and flat, low pass and high pass. All super, super useful, right? Didn't know those were in there in a lot of cases. Some people just think there's these bells, high shelves and roll offs. You've got all these different curve types within there. It goes even further though, guys. So when you've got your little menu up here, there's an arrow just here to the right hand side. If we click on that bad boy, <gasps> dun dun dun, dynamic. So we can now enable uh, dynamic based on gain and based on frequency. What? Based on frequency? Yeah. So you can actually get it to frequency track. If you've ever seen something like Surfer EQ, really, really similar principle here. So just check this out. So that's super useful. So it's actually gonna track like that resonant frequency that you're bringing down, it can track it and move them around. Super, super useful on vocals. Incredibly powerful to have in an EQ in general. And they don't make a big deal of it. It's just sort of like hidden away in there. Cause well, that's isotope being isotope. They give you a great tool that you think is awesome and then you find something even better in there. Also got the standard, yes, yeah, standard at this point, um, gain reduction. So basically turn it into a nice multiband compressor. Um, if you're wondering the difference between multiband compression and dynamic EQ, I've done a whole video on that that dives into it. Um, FabFilter really mix it up with theirs because it's basically a hybrid of the two. But this just works in adjusting the gain based on the frequency coming in. It's really great for DSing and just taking away any harshness. But um, that having that frequency tracking, super, super useful. Uh, I'll be honest, it's quite CPU heavy, but you know, if you're using this and having to do it, once you've got everything sounding right, you know, freeze it, track it out to audio at the end of the day. Um, it's a heavy process to be going through. So not to just get completely sidelined by all the fancy tech, We've also got one last super feature, which is great. We've got a nice solo lock. And what's good about this is we can actually move the area around as well. So you'll remember on Neutron originally, you could do this, but you couldn't move the frequency point to listen to what you're after. Right 
So that, guys, is the EQ inside Nectar 3. A couple of hidden features in there I bet you didn't know about. So thank you very much for watching the video. I hope it was helpful for you, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you very much for watching.